train with the dog pig in my coach at Yamana PCYC. I um, would like to qualify for the next uh, Olympics in Rio, Brazil. Uh, represent Australia in women's boxing. And how's it going so far? How's the training and your ambition of getting to Rio going? I train six days a week and it's uh, pretty intense, but um, I travel to Gosford uh, twice a week um, and the boys down there uh, make it interesting um, and keep me motivated and inspired, so it's uh, really, really good. How old, how old is your son? Uh, my son's three and a half now. Um, so how difficult has it been to train Raise, raise your son and then also you also do some volunteering at your local PCYC in Nelson Bay. Yeah, um, it is difficult at times. You do have your moments um, where it does get all a bit too much and you think, oh, why am I doing this? Uh, should I be more there for my son? Um, yeah, you do have those moments, but um, in the long run, um, when I do succeed, I'm going to be a better mum in the end for it. I'm going to be a better role model for him. Um, we're going to have a healthier and fitter lifestyle for both of us. So, yes, yeah, main reason. And how hard do you train? What kind of things do you do when you're training? Um, training in Gosford, we train to two to three hours. Um, we do some sparring, do a lot of heavy fitness work, um, a lot of footwork and technique. Yeah, and on other days while I train up here, it's uh, CrossFit, train at the gym, uh, train at my local PCYC now um, club. Um, so it does vary. I try to mix it up a bit so I don't get bored with it. Um, and every different sort of skill set that I do, it's strengthening a different part of my body. So I'm not just doing boxing. Um, like doing CrossFit and everything else will strengthen my shoulders, my legs, my hips. Um, my core, which is going to benefit my boxing as well. How, how has your journey been towards Rio so far? Have you competed in anything recently that's sort of helping you get there? Uh, my journey so far has been a lot of ups and downs. Um, I've just got back um, from surgery, uh, threw myself straight back into it because um, I'm just so determined to reach my goal. Um, but I've had a fight on the 10th of August, that was an exo in um, Cessnock and then I had a fight planned the week after in Sydney but that was cancelled and then I threw myself straight into Golden Bells which is uh, one of Australia's biggest tournaments and then I walked straight into the final on Saturday, uh, Sunday. So um, that was pretty tough, I had to fight up at um, 60 kilo, I weighed in at 58. Um, the girls were a lot bigger at that weight. Um, but all in all, I broke a nose, which was fun, <laughs> and I got silver. So it's a pretty good effort, um, as far as I'm concerned. It was a massive learning curve. What is it about boxing that you love? I've always had a sort of passion for boxing, always watched it when we were growing up with my dad. Um, the girls asked me to do it throughout school, but uh, my mum wouldn't let me. So, um, yeah, and now that I'm old enough to make my own decisions, and. Um, having those sort of health problems there um, just made me more driven to do it. What would it, mean, what would it mean to you to win gold or even get to compete at the Olympics in Rio? That would be a dream come true. It's um, yeah, going to be a big achievement for me. Um, mindset, ready to go. I'm so determined. I'm very driven. Uh, very passionate about sport. Um, I just can't wait to get there. and compete. And you're also very passionate about educating children about health and nutrition. Is that something that you're hoping to do in the short term or is that sort of a longer plan goal to sort of? Uh, short term and long term. Um, as much as I can between training and studies and my son and other factors in life. Um, I'd like to get down to my local PCYC and help out um, with the vacation care and kids care, um, go around to the schools and just try and introduce um, you know, a healthy eating plan for the canteens, um, an exercise plan um, when they have a sport day, um, 
not only that, like try and get it advertised in you know papers and catalogues, um, those sort of things. So another uh, good reason that I'm doing it is I'll, when I reach my goal, I want to be able to inspire other women, uh, other people, just to say that you know I can, I've studied. I have a son, I work, I volunteer, I train six days a week, I'm a boxer, you can do it too. If you're out there, stick to it.